Gonzalez, over here! Oh, he's almost dead, dude. Peach is completely fine. She's not even hurt. Ugh, ugh. Mario. So it's all over then. I'm so sorry, Mario. Who knew all this would happen? Man, this is no biggie, Peach. Nothing we couldn't handle. Oh god, I am such in an orgasmic, euphoric state right now. She feels so good! I feel so good! Oh god, I feel- only you guys knew how I felt right now. Thank you, all of you. Peach, you better be on my fucking nutsack! Okay? You better be on my fucking nutsack! Okay? After all this shit? Can you believe those brutes even came after me and old Goomba? But I still made it here. So worried about you. All you, you have no idea. By the look of things, though, guess we're in the clear. Am I right? <laughs> Couldn't get things done. You kids sure are the real thing. I'll tell you. Yeah, she baked you a cake of that shit. It's fucking Mario 64 bullshit. Yes, I seem to be in one piece. Too. All, so all is well. So without further ado, take a look at this. You been taking? You been keeping that a secret from me? Fucking! Found this on the way. Must be the treasure we heard rumors of in Rogueport. My theory has been correct. All these years, there was a legendary treasure. Mario still doesn't get that part. Oh, Professor. No. Don't bring me down. No, 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 no. Woohoo! I tell you once more before I get on the floor. Don't bring me down. All it all ends well. Now, how do we get out of place, this dank place, anyway? I don't know, man. That was kind of your deal. Hmm. Let's go home, Mario. Back to everyone. <laughs> get my blowjob! Oh god. I'm gonna put my fucking feet up, dude. Cause you know why? Cause I am accomplished as shit. Ugh. Like, dude, I have such a metaphorical boner right now, it's ridiculous. So you're leaving then? Well, that's too bad. Well, fuck you then. Having you around really did wonders for my research. Professor, we never let you m monopolize Mario for your research anyway. Besides, you said I could be a research assistant for my next term. Hmm, yes, that's right, and I thank you, Goombella. Mario, even after you leave here, please don't forget about us, alright? And we, in return, will wish that you find all the best in the future. Never ever give up, Mario. That's the most important thing I learned from you. Thanks, Mario. Just promise me you'll think of me now and again, okay? Uh, Mario. Thanks to you, I found courage and inner strength. I don't know how to say this, but I think I like myself more since I've known you. I feel like I've grown closer to my dad. It's so hard to put into words, um... My dear, dear Mario, I'm ready to make my comeback in the theater now. Found so many things on this journey that I can only express on stage. And with these new themes, I am so ready for that wonderful spotlight again. Please do come see me once we finish rehearsing. And bring Peach, too. <laughs> Goombella! 
Gonzalez, oh yeah, wait, I gotta stop doing that. It's Mario, right? Well, you'll always be Gonzalez to me, man. Cause I was born in the Glitz Pit. And Gonzalez is and always will be the champ. Mario's party should have a second coming. Huh. Yeah. So let's meet again, Gonzalez. I mean it, man. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, Mario, I, I feel I feel like I've grown to love. Oh! Yeah, I sure do think that you and Peach make a nice couple. Friend zone. Says the whole world just gets goodbye and cake. Yeah, pretty much. So don't forget me either. Well, old boy, it's most agreeable that I had the chance to meet you. It's not for you, then my dear Scarlet would still gaze uh, down on a broken barbum. But now I'm off to see to see again. I know Scarlet would have wanted it that way. Let's see each other again, eh? And this time, let it be on the high seas. Well, it's time for us to part, my little cheese hunk. I will not say farewell, because you're welcome here anytime. Since you're welcome, you should come anytime you please, sweetie. Now be careful, and until we meet again, adieu. Well, the boat's almost here. Mario! The punies? Ah, uh, we made it just in time. Take these with you. We brought them so you'd have something to eat on the boat. Yummy. These are very fresh mushrooms. These are very fresh. How lovely, thank you. Everyone, if not for all of you, the world would not have fallen into a horrible darkness. Except for Koopa and Goombella. They really didn't do shit in the boss battle. But your brave hearts strove for peace. And saved this world. I don't know how to thank you. But know that the entire world is in your debt. I'll make you a cake, because that's what I do. Nonsense, we're the ones who should be thanking you, princess. If you hadn't come to our little town, we'd all be puppets for the Shadow Queen and Grotus. The thought gives me hives. Ah, look, your highness, I see the boat. Is it the fucking Cortez? Take care, everyone. Farewell. Oh, shit! It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice boat. Forgive my lateness, sir. Must have dozed off a bit. Please come on board. We'll get you folks back to full steam. Set a course for the Mushroom Kingdom. They are all such lovely people, don't you think? I don't have too many good memories of Rogue Porf, well, with the kidnapping and all. But it really is a vibrant town full of love for life, isn't it? Mario, I was very frightened when they took me, but, well, Tech was really there for me and helped me get through it all. And I knew that you would come to help me as well. I always believe in that. Thank you, Mario. I, maybe I should listen to Toadsworth and behave more like a princess from now on. <laughs> yeah, you dumb bitch. Oh, uh, I'm totally not gonna kiss you now. Rogueport's positively shining. It's so beautiful. Yeah, hobbled black little cake. That does look pretty good on GameCube. I will admit. Oh baby. Oh wow, that's crazy, bro. You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? Hey, we're back. Now that Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really though, how amazing is it you saved the world again? Say, it's been a little while since. Are you ready for a new adventure? Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah, you the man. I wonder what everyone who traveled with you is up to. Mario pushes Peach off the boat. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Oh, what was that? Was that your, your newfangled mail device? 
A bang. Is this like some like girl from Craigslist who he's been sending dick pics to? What's up? Gumbella here. I'm still here working with Professor Frankly. We beat the Shadow Queen. There's tons of rogue port lore we still don't get. So my research with the professor goes on and on. With the info I gathered with you, we have lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Yeah, without your dumbass Luigi, jeez. Speaking of which, know, know what was in the chest so that, that the professor recovered? You're totally not going to believe when I tell you. It's a secret. Ha! <laughs> But I'll tell you next time I see you. You fucking bitch. Part of my research I did back... I did go back to many of the places we visited. And I saw everyone we traveled with, too. God, when does this game end? It's not like I want it to end, but come on! Yeah, there's a cake in the in the in the treasure chest. Coop's living peacefully with Petalburg with his dad and Coopy Coo. Mario guess what Coops wants to do now. He wants to become a mayor of Petalburg and live there in peace. Can you imagine? Still it might just be perfect for him. Come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now when it, than when he left Rogueport. Still, I think Coopy Coo pretty much has him wrapped around her little finger. Flurry's back on stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure. Yeah! It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. It was totally the best play ever. It's barely the beginning. Oh, god damn it. And somehow Duplis has joined the troupe as an actor. Who saw that coming? His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kind of creeps me out. Oh, and little Star Lord? Yeah, he's fighting solo in the Glitz Pit. He says he's getting pretty close to a title match, even. Isn't that just adorable? Oh, yeah. He keeps calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. in the ring, by the way. Sort of silly, but kind of cute, too, don't you think? Oh, and wait. I have to get this exactly right, or he'll get, like, so mad at me. He's, uh, said that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it. I guess he doesn't change. Isn't that too cute? Vivian's gone back to hang out with her sisters. Family is important, after all. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Bel Belden's into evil. Oh, and Belden also promised me she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. Chapter 8 out of 47. <laughs> Fuck. Yep, I think the three sisters are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go visit her sometime. Hey, Cortez! Barbary goes out to sea every day now with Cortez. I think his soul has healed. I ran into him on Keelhaw Key by accident the other day, which was nice. He was so happy, I thought he was going to blow up on me for a second there. <laughs> and not in a jizzy way. You know, I bet Scarlet is looking down on him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot, everyone on Keelhaw Key is well, and they say hello. Hey! <sighs> Miss Mouse is still running the bad shop in Rogueport. And the bad shop. But she comes over frankly sometimes to visit. But as usual, as soon as she sets foot outside the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. She said just the other day that she had found some super rare badge, actually. That's our globe trotting mystery making flirting little badge thief, huh? Oh yeah, in my travels I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they've mellowed a lot, just like Beldum has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just ahead, which really cuts down the mischief-making. There's a secret battle? Oh, Jesus. God, I, I should have been asleep like an hour ago, dude. I'm starting to feel it.